Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 Best Class video. And in this video we're going to be focusing on the best LMG class. Now uh, that's the introduction out of the way, now let's bring up the board to show our pick 10 loadout. Right, so just before we talk about the uh, class loadout, I just want to talk a bit about this game. So I'm playing solo, and I'm playing some regular TDM on Turbine. And I originally wanted to play some ground war, but it was lagging so bad. So uh, I just thought I'd go into some 6v6 and try that out. And uh, this was the first game I got on Turbine. And uh, I didn't mean to have the Swarm on, because as you can see, I've got VSAT, EMP, and Swarm. I'm going to actually have a counter UAV in there, because obviously I'm using an unsilenced LMG. So that's the reason. I don't usually run Swarm in a regular TDM game. But we will see how I do. So right, let's get back into the class. So for my primary, as you can probably tell, I've got the MK48. Now I was torn between using this and the LSAT because <laughs> the LSAT's a pretty beast weapon and uh, although I'm using the MK48, I thought I'd just throw in this little clip of me using uh, the LSAT on Meltdown. But I'll use the LSAT if I think I'm going to be like engaging the enemy in close quarters. The damage, the range, the recoil, it's all medium, so it's really good for those close quarter combats while the MK48 has high accuracy and high damage. So I tend to use this on maps where you're probably going to engage the enemy at a distance and uh, obviously on Turbine, <laughs> probably perfect for it. But yeah, the MK48, I just feel like it's the better one because the other two, the QBB and the Hammer, uh, the Hammer has like ridiculous recoil, I don't really think that's up to par and it only has a 75 clip round and uh, so does the QBB as well, uh, although that has a high rate of fire and high damage, the accuracy and range is really low, so you know you can have the highest damage weapon in the world but if uh, none of the bullets go on target then it ain't worth a damn. <laughs> so uh, right now on to the attachments, so I've got the reflex sight and the adjustable stock. Now I know a lot of people probably use the target finder instead of the reflex sight but uh, the way I like to use the LMGs is I like to rush around with them and I know that's quite hard to show on turbine because uh, as soon as you rush around and fire an unsilenced weapon it seems you have uh, six snipers all looking on your position just ready to take you out and uh, probably using the target finder actually might be a little bit better on turbine because uh, you'll be able to see all like those snipers in the distance but the way I like to play this map is I stay around this area and try to keep the enemy at a medium range and uh, away from those snipers and the uh, adjustable stock helps do that as well obviously if I'm zoomed in I can stray from left to right and uh, I don't know I just glide around the map and uh, I think it helps me win those gunfights as well if I'm already aiming down sight but uh, what I will do just because I don't like using the target finder um, I don't think I'll be doing this class any justice if I don't show you a good setup for that so uh, stick around for the end of the video and I'll uh, show you a good setup to use the target finder with so right onto my equipment I have the C4 now if you've been watching my best class videos then you know how much I love the C4 and uh, I think I've used them that much now that it's just a part of my playstyle and uh, they're so much fun to use that they've always got a definite spot in my pick 10. So right now onto my perks. So my first tier perk is Flat Jacket. Now this perk does change depending on what kind of game type I'm playing. So I told you before I came from Ground War, so if I was playing Domination then I would put the flat jacket on. If I was playing Kill Confirmed then I might put Lightweight or Hardline. And if I had time just before this game started I would have put Hardline on just to get to the higher kill streaks a lot quicker. So right for my second tier perks I've got Toughness and Scavenger. And coming up in a second you're going to see why having toughness and stock on the LMG is just so effective. So you see these guys there, I strafe right across them and uh, they're hitting me but uh, the toughness is keeping all my bullets online. And I use scavenger mainly to replenish the C4s as uh, you do get 300 starting rounds with the MK48 but I have run out of bullets before so uh, I guess scavenger just uh, makes sure that I have to pick up another gun. And now we're on to my final perk which is dexterity. Now because I like to run around with the LMG, the dexterity just allows me to shoot my bullets faster after sprinting and actually since the latest patch they've actually reduced the ADS time on the LMGs as well so it's uh, like a little added quick draw on it and uh, that's just another little addition that's going to work well with this class and now for my next slot it's going to be taken up by a tactical grenade so I've got the EMP and now just because of all the score streaks in this game and all the equipment then uh, just having an EMP it just allows me to get a lot of points and it's obviously uh, I get it replenished by my scavenger as well and last but not least because I've got two perks I'm going to need perk 2 greed and that's it guys this is what I think is the best LMG class to run and uh, as promised I will show you a good target finder class so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away these and put these in instead so as you can see with the target finder I've chosen FMJ and I think just because you're shooting people at distance you do get a couple of bullets on them and then obviously they go back behind cover and the FMJ is just going to allow you to get a couple of more bullets on them and get the kill so I think that's just going to be really effective. But as I said before I'll show you this class because I know people like to use the target finder but I guarantee you'll definitely have more fun using the other class. So that's it guys, this is what I think is the best LMG class setups and uh, the final score in this game was 44 and 2 with a 24 gun streak with MK48 so I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay and I uh, hope I earned your like rating and uh, maybe favorite if you think it's helped you out so that's it guys i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and take care